Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will hold a meeting with his party MLAs today as speculations about his breakup with the BJP grows to a fever pitch. The Congress and the RJD have indicated that they are ready for Grand Alliance 2.0 if he dumps the BJP. The meeting of Nitish Kumar's Janata Dal United begins at 11 a.m. Officially, it is meant to take a call on the way forward. Kumar has made his growing anger with the BJP over a multitude of issues clear. RJD MLAs and leaders are also meeting at the same time at Lalu Yadav's Patna residence. Mobile phones of all MLAs are being kept outside the meeting room. MLAs of left parties have also arrived at RJD Patriarch Lalu Prasad Yadav's residence. The BJP which reached out to Kumar twice on Monday has said it will wait for his decision. Sources said the party's chief strategist Amit Shah has reached out to Kumar and had a telephonic conversation with him yesterday. Key leaders of the party state unit met Nitish Kumar yesterday. About 2 months before India officially reported its first cases of monkeypox, Mumbai doctor Ishwar Gilada urged two of his patients to get tested. Both a gay man and a male who identifies as bisexual refused even though their sexual partners caught the disease. Gilada who opened India's first AIDS clinic in 1986 understood the challenges that lie ahead. In parts of the world where LGBTQ people face stigma and bias, patients are reluctant to seek testing or treatment for a disease that has recently afflicted gay and bisexual men. They did not want to be the first monkeypox cases in India, Gilada said. They are going underground, he also said. Since May, the disease has afflicted more than 28,000 people and while it can spread through all kinds of close contact, among the cases in the US for which detailed epidemiological information is available 94% reported male to male sexual or close intimate contact during the 3 weeks before symptoms appeared the centers for the disease control and prevention reported on friday india's official tally stands at 9 cases according to global dot health in countries where homophobia and life threatening discrimination is rife many people may not seek help world health organization director general tedros ghebreyesus has warned making the outbreak much much harder to track and to stop reacting strongly to sri lanka's request to delay the visit of a tracking vessel that was due to arrive on august 11 and had aroused india's concerns china on monday described india's opposition to the visit as unjustified and morally irresponsible and urged new delhi to not disturb normal exchanges between the two countries The Yuan Wong 5 tracking and survey vessel had last month been given clearance by Sri Lanka to stop in the port of Hambantota from August 11 to 17 to carry out replenishment. The visit of a space and satellite tracking vessel for close to a week had however aroused concerns in New Delhi and last week Sri Lanka's government conveyed to China that it wanted the visit deferred until further consultations were made. Chinese ambassador Qi Zhenhong sought a meeting with President Ranil Vikram Singhe on Saturday after receiving the note verbal from the Sri Lankan Foreign Ministry requesting a delay in the visit. It was a marvelous final day for the Indian contingent at the 2022 Commonwealth Games. India won four gold medals, one silver and one bronze, taking India to the fourth rank in the finals medals tally. PV Sindhu and Lakshya Sen clinched the women's and men's singles title in badminton to give India a good start. The badminton men's doubles pair of Chirag Shetty and Satvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy then beat England to make it three gold medals from badminton. In table tennis, Achanta Sharath Kamal clinched yet another gold medal as he won the men's singles final defeating England's Liam Pitchford. Trinamool Congress MP Derek O'Brien on Monday launched a fresh attack on Narendra Modi led central government over its decision to bring an end to the monsoon session of the parliament ahead of its schedule. Both the houses of parliament were adjourned sign die on Monday. O'Brien said this is the seventh consecutive time that a parliament session has been cut short, adding that the opposition will fight for its sanctity and prevent the prime minister and union home minister Amit Shah from turning it into the Gujarat Gymkhana. This is the seventh consecutive time parliament session has been cut short. Stop mocking parliament. We will fight for its sanctity and prevent prime minister Narendra Modi and Amit Shah from turning this great institution into the Gujarat Gymkhana, O'Brien said in a tweet.
Proceedings had remained disrupted in both the houses since the start of the monsoon session as opposition parties sought immediate discussion on issues like price rise and GST and later over the suspension of 23 members.